Hello and thank you for joining me today. This is Danny and today we are going to take a look at the uh, at Dimension Building with RF Tools and Mistcraft. And we're going to compare the two and see um, wh what the benefits are of each one. Here's my lab. I've got two separate areas here, one for Mistcraft and one for RF Tools. Now the Mistcraft mod is really just uh, dimension building and traveling between dimensions. Now RF Tools on the other hand has all kinds of stuff, um, all kinds of technical tools besides dimension building. Although in this particular episode, in this um, kind of mini-series, <laughs> we're only going to look at the dimension building functionality and compare it to RF Tools, or to uh, Mistcraft rather. Um, personally, I use both mods, and there are advantages to each and disadvantages to each, and I use them together, and they kind of complement each other in many ways. We're going to start off by looking at Mistcraft, at the Mistcraft basics, so that we can compare how it works with RF Tools. If you're already a Mistcraft Pro, um, you might be able to skip to the next episode, and, unless you want to stick around and see if, if there's any little tidbits of information that I might have for you. Compared to RF Tools, Mistcraft is really great for early game because it's relatively inexpensive. We really only need these three blocks, the bookbinder, the writing desk, and the ink mixer. All this stuff over here is kind of optional, just kind of there for show, but there are three resources that we're going to need. We're going to need some paper, and we need these ink vials, which are Mistcraft items, and leather. Let's bring up Mistcraft and NEI, and you can see there's really not very many items um, in this mod, but the Mistcraft, or the bottle is just a water bottle and two ink sacks or two black dyes of some kind and there's plenty of those. I've actually got an MFR rancher set up um, in a little squid aquarium to get tons of dyes and that works out really well and then I've also got a MFR spawner spawning cows for leather. So we've got um, we've got our link panels so everything really everything is pretty cheap I mean it's really just the ink and the leather um, and paper. Those are really the three main resources that you're going to need. And um, So we use our link panels to make um, linked books with a piece of leather. So you just take one of these and a piece of leather and get yourself an unlinked linking book. And wherever you click this book, when I right click on this book, it's going to be um, linked to this spot. So if I'm standing right here, and even the direction that I'm facing and the exact spot that I'm standing on when I click it. Now when I'm in another dimension which could be the nether, it could be the end, this guy will take me back to this very spot but only if I'm in another dimension um, and that's actually a miscraft specific limitation. Um, our, as we, when we get into RF tools we'll see that our um, Teleporting devices and RF tools do not have that limitation. You can actually teleport from the, within the same dimension. You don't have to be in a different dimension. So, so the so before you create a new dimension, you're always going to want to create yourself a linking book so that you have a way to get back because otherwise you're stuck. <laughs> and the only way to get out is to edit your user data file or uh, or have somebody else. Coming to dimensions and miscraft um, again is very cheap. The uh, the cheapest way to do it you you use the bookbinder to create a dimension, and all you need is one of these link page panels. You can see every time I pull one of these, it's taking an ink vial and a piece of paper. So all we have to do is take this link panel, stick it in here, and we can make ourselves a descriptive book. Now, a descriptive book describes a dimension, and it will take you to a, dis to a dimension. Now, if we just put a linking panel in here, it's going to generate a dimension by random, and all the features of that dimension are going to be totally randomized. Um, One-way ticket. However, if we want to specify options, we have these pages. So, if, 
I only have a few pages. You collect these pages in the world. You can get them from dungeon chests. You can get them from villagers. And uh, they're pretty rare to collect um, in the overworld. Um, other than through the um, miscraft villagers. We will look at these in more detail in a few minutes and create a new dimension um, using these pages so, to specify some. Now options. before you go to a miscraft dimension, make sure you have a way back. We have we have our linking book. And our descriptive book, now there's we can actually just right click on this descriptive book and we get this little interface and we can click there and it'll take us there, but then we will drop the book. Um, when you drop a book, it becomes an entity in the world, so it can't actually be killed. <laughs> so you don't want to do that. You want to use these book stands um, or lecterns. They both they both act the same way. Now, before we go into a random dimension, we want to be careful because we have no idea what we're getting into. This could be a very hostile, uninhabitable environment. Um, there could be instability which could come in the form of a poison effect, a wither effect, a nausea effect, there could be explosions, lightning, or other nasty effects. Stability is the miscraft way of adding cost <laughs> to otherwise maybe overpowered features of the world. So for instance, let's say you wanted to build a world that's made out of diamond blocks. Um, you can do that, um, but the world is going to be extremely unstable. It's going to have a very high likelihood of being unstable. Whereas, um, now RF Tools, as we'll find out later, has another way of adding cost to this. Like, if you want to make a world out of gold blocks, you can do it, and it'll be stable. But it's going to take a whole heck of a lot of RF. Um, like, a ridiculous amount of RF. Um, but if you've got, if you can generate the RF and if you can get it into that world, I'll get down here and I'm going to put everything in here that that I don't need. Anything that would be difficult to replace. <laughs> These things have like everything that I've ever worked for. Okay, let's do it. And we always have this linking book, which can get us back quickly if we need to um, get back quickly. This, by the way, isn't recommended. <laughs> Going into a random <laughs> like this. Put a little time. <laughs> wow. So this is just a randomly generated world. So we just found a really cool source of endstone. That's that is pretty awesome without having to go to the end. Lots of animals here. This is extreme hills. <laughs> That's right, I can fly. Extreme hills made out of end stone. So then once you get in the Mistcraft um, dimension, squirrels. <laughs> forest squirrel. Dead mushroom forest. Wow, this is really, really cool. The base block of this world is end stone, so nothing's going to grow in it. So within the Miscraft worlds, there are randomly um, generated libraries which contain pages. Now we don't know what we're going to see when night comes. It could be any. Oh, there's a library. Here, let's turn our hover on so we can get over there faster. Since it's getting dark, I'm gonna throw a couple torches up here. So here's the library. Um, let's just do that. For now, okay. So we've got all these books. <laughs> it's definitely a good source of books. What is that? Torch berries? Oh, huh, cool. And then we've got, we have all these lecterns that each have one page on them. So here's Molten Red Orum Block, whatever that is. Um, Skylands, Eternal Weather, Iron 
or strongholds. And then we've got this chest, which has these sealed notebooks, which have a whole bunch of, each one of these things has a whole bunch of pages in it. Um, and then we've got all these pages. So that's how you get page. That's one of the easier ways to get pages. All right, I just, <clears throat> I just completed the very time consuming process of organizing all of my pages. Um, and this is what I got. I had about, I think it was about 12 folders and then the loose pages that I got at those libraries. Um, for each dimension we're going to need a terrain page. We only have one. <laughs> and it's an amplified normal world. I don't know if that's the kind of terrain or the kind of world I really want to generate, but um, but we could do it just for fun. And I only got one biome distribution page, and that is for a tiled biome distribution, which I believe takes two biomes. And then I got all of these biomes. So we've got lots of choices for biomes. What and tons of colors. Lots of celestials. It seems like uh, this is always the case when I um, when I collect these folders from the libraries and also from the villagers. It seems like they're always loaded with celestials, which are basically things that specify um, the suns, the moons, twinkling stars. It seems like you always end up with a ton of celestials, a ton of colors, and a ton of biomes. Those three things seem to be pretty easy to get. Um, Biome distributions are hard to get, the terrains seem to be hard to get, and certain blocks are hard to get too. Because um, the one block that I would really like is stone, because so that we have a world that's based, that has a, um, a block base of stone. Otherwise it could be anything, like the world that we just created had a base of, of um, end stone. But we don't have that. And we got a few populators, um, stronghold, surface lakes. If each world needs at least one populator, a populator, I believe it is. And of course, n technically everything's optional. Um, as you saw, we can create one, a world with nothing. But whatever you don't specify, it will specify randomly. Um, terrain alterations, we got one skylands, and we've got a few weathers, um, a couple of effects. Accelerated s speeds up the tick rate, but it adds instability. Scorched surface adds stability, <laughs> but at the cost of burning you up. <laughs> so any any living creature exposed to the sky is going to b burst into flames. But theoretically, you could use this in a diamond world or something, and then just stay under the ground mining. Um, lighting, we have normal lighting. And then we have our clear modifiers, which we add to the end in case there's any hanging modifiers in our. But um, continuing with our comparison with uh, RF tools, one of the things that you can do in Mistcraft, which you can't do in RF tools, is to um, copy these things. So if we want to create a world with our tiled biome distribution, um, as long as we have ink and paper in our desk, we can just right click on it, it'll create a new one and throw it over here. So now we have another tiled biome page. So to build a world, um, we grab a folder. Well, there, there's actually a couple different ways to do it. Um, what? Is that the only folder I had there? Oh yeah, the other ones are in my ME system. So we can grab a folder here and start creating, creating pages. Um, worlds. Actually, let's let's just create one real quickly and what the heck let's make it amplified so I'll right click on that with and I guess we're just we're not going to specify the block um, the base block because none of these I guess we could make a dirt base but if we don't specify one it will pick one randomly and technically it's supposed to be the case that the default that like the normal stuff like stone and dirt is supposed to be um, the most likely thing but I've found that that isn't always, that doesn't tend to be the case but let's just do an amplified normal world um, pick a couple biomes here let's see 
All right, we'll do a prairie. So our modifier comes first um, before the, so in this case, tiled biome, we're gonna specify the biomes first. Prairie biome, river biome. Um, how about prairie and, and temperate rainforest? That sounds like a good, I good idea. Uh, now we can actually, one of the things I really like about Mistcraft, you, you have a lot of control over your celestials. So we could have two suns that are at slightly different phases of one another, or we could have one going faster and one going slower. Um, we could have as many moons as we want. And I think, let's see. We don't even have a sun. We, don't, we only have dark sun, which basically is no sun. Let's see, normal stars, normal direction, south. So we'll just let it pick pick our suns for us, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll do some surface lakes. Now for sur surface lakes, you can specify a fluid, otherwise it'll pick one randomly again. Um, in this case, the only fluid we have is lava. So we could tell it that we want or molten red orum. Um, which would probably cause instability. I'm not even sure what that is, red orum. But we'll we'll let it pick it for us. Otherwise, you would put it you would put it in front of it. Um, and then we want at least one populator. Oh, we already did the populator. Okay. And then we want at least one terrain alteration, which is skylands. So we'll, we'll just we'll leave that, and then we can specify weather. We don't <laughs> we don't want any of those weathers. Um, effects, accelerated, scorched surface. We're not going to do any of that. We might as well do normal lighting just to make sure we don't end up with dark lighting or something like that. And then we clear modifiers at the end just to make sure that we didn't leave anything dangling. Um, so this is just an example. This is certainly not the best miscraft world that I would make. I, I mean, you really need to spend a lot of time collecting these um, these pages, and it it takes a heck of a lot of time. And then you've got to organize them. Um, when we get into RF tools, you'll see that it's a lot that that part is a lot easier. Um, but we'll, we'll get to that in a second. So let's just dump all these in here. Now, once we create this world, um, these we lose these pages. They become part of the descriptive book. So you want to make sure that if you have anything that you want to keep that you right click on it in order to duplicate the page so so what have we got here we got an amplified world prairie biome temperate rainforest tiled we have surface lakes we don't know what they're gonna be made of and in fact we don't know what the amplified world is gonna be made of um, and then we have clear modifiers at the end so oh, let's see what we get now <laughs> Before we do this, we need to make sure we have a linking book. Um, I've I've done this so many times. I can't tell you how many times I have gone into a new dimension without bringing a linking book with me. Now, as it turns out, um, I happen to have something with me. Oh no, I don't. It's in this chest um, from RF Tools that would actually bring us back. Um, but just so that we can fully compare. RF tools with Mistcraft. Let's just do this the Mistcraft way right now and create ourselves. Whoops, that is not. Create ourselves a linking book. Again, we take our linked panel page. And our unlinked linking book. Now, and what is cool as as we get into comparing these two is we'll be able to see that we can use um, objects from one mod in another. So. We don't have to stick to just RF tools or um, Mistcraft. We can we can take the best of both worlds. Okay, so I've just linked this book. I'm gonna put it there. Actually, I'm going to bring at least at least a lectern with me since I have a ton of them. Put it back up on the shelf. Oh, I called it random name. Let's change the name. <laughs> if you grab it, it'll take it out of that thing. So now we actually we have to go into our writing desk if we want to change the name of a world. We can call this uh, amplified, amplified uh, tile, whatever. Okay, so we don't know we don't know what we don't exactly know what this world's going to be like because I left 
Um, I left a lot of stuff to chance here. Oh boy. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm guessing the world hasn't loaded yet because there's mobs flying in the air over there. So we've got a red sky. I don't see a sun. <laughs> And, oh yeah, this is amplified, so it's going to take a while to lo load. But we did get lucky. Um, that we do have a stone and grass space. Looks so as like. far as we know, we may have an eternal sky. I mean, we may have an eternal night here. Um, we might have eternal rain, storm, we don't know. Actually, I am going to... Pretty cool looking world though. I'm gonna add a waypoint. Spawn. Call it spawn. I'm gonna make it green because that's the color I always make spawn. Oh <laughs> boy. Some huge trees. Oak wood. What's our biome here? Prairie. This is a prairie biome. <laughs> whole lot like okay now we're in the temperate rainforest hmm so the tiled biome just basically means it's all squares and you can kind of see we've got valleys and surface hills lakes. we didn't specify the fluid and we got something that does not look like water flowing spirit <laughs> nice wonder what happens when you go into a flowing spirit anything Oh, you get regeneration. Oh, look at that. Nice. I wonder if the, mob <laughs> the mobs probably get that too. <laughs> so that could be interesting. We could do something with that. And it looks like all the lakes are, are flowing spirit. <laughs> that sky. So just out of curiosity, I'm actually going to pause... Um, pause the recording and I'm gonna wait till day to see if there is okay, a day. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I, uh, I hung out in that world for quite a while and it continued raining and it never got light out. In fact, I checked the clock right after I paused and it was, it was just about noon. <laughs> so, so I guess that's a dark rainy world all the time. I collected a whole bunch of pages that I'm going to organize um, and Put away and then we'll head over to our RF tools area and compare compare the difference this is I just went through the cumbersome process of organizing all my stuff and <clears throat> I got two things that I that I really wanted um, I got some large and huge biome distribution <laughs> And I got a tropics biome. Now, a lot of people like to use um, these mods. Where did it go now? In alphabetical order. Tropics, yay! A lot of people like to use these mods to make um, like mining ages or ages that have really cool resources and stuff. Um, I'm not that practical. <laughs> I would, I, my plan is to make paradise. I want to make like a paradise dimension and then build a vacation, build a nice big vacation house there. So now moving on to RF tools. <laughs> 